everybody, I'm Wanna Weasem here. We just introduced Dive Clops, and uh, he is a cool character because he's someone who is going to work the best, at least box stock, uh, using a combination of primary and secondary attacks. They just work best as a tandem, although the mines are quite capable on their own. That said, what we're going to do now, I have got in my hand Deep Dive Gilgrunts. Uh, he's the most reposed man in Skylands, and uh, we're going to throw him down, get him introduced to you. Fear about fish. All right. Okay, so he looks pretty good like this in the game, I gotta say. And again, everything I have heard, you know, granted, before the game, it was like, good lord, not Gilgrunt, you know. That was pretty much unanimous, aside from maybe, like, I don't know, the less than 5% that, like, would have Gilgrunt as a favorite, which that's understandable. You know, I could see people really liking Gilgrunt the best. He was a starter pack hero. Uh, looks like he's got some cool idle animation. Let's check those out here. <laughs> That's like what we'll call the statue pose. And then it looked like he did one where he spins the trident above his head. Okay, so I'm cool with that. Uh, pretty playful. And again, looks pretty dead good cool. <laughs> he also looks tiny since we just had dive clubs on the screen. <laughs> so, that said, let's go ahead and just jump right in on this one by hitting the wrong button. So we try to be productive and look where it goes. Alright, so stats are what we want to take a look at here. I'm going to go back to that spreadsheet. Da -da -dun, somewhere. There it is. Alright, so we're just going to do DDGG versus DC. Gilgrunt versus Divecloth. Statistical battle, it begins now. Health on Gilgrunt, 270. Gilman is up 20. Speed, 35 to 35. I haven't even moved Gilgrunt, but I assure you he would slaughter him in a foot race. Um, armor. Gilgrunt's surprisingly good here, 24, so he's only minus 6 there. Critical hit, Gilgrunt's at 6. And elemental power, we're going to register both at 25, so cumulatively... Uh, we've got plus 20 for Gilgrunt, plus 6 for Divecloth, so plus 14. Gilgrunt, statistically, is superior by plus 16 over Divecloth. Just base stats, add everything together, plus 16. So, cool deal there. Uh, let us stay on the screen and take a look at Gilgrunt, shall we? Alright, so again, uh, very happy dude. He's actually, he's got a cool bio. It grows on you. I mean, you know, and again, I stress this more than anyone because I think people still are unclear about it. But uh, we'll leave him at this angle for a little while. This isn't just Gilgrunt with a trident and, you know, some armor and some fancy, you know, looking upgrades and flippers or something. It's not like he left the strip mall with some new gear. He is totally new, totally reimagined. Everything that you came to know and love about Gilgrunt is there, but not in the attacks and upgrades. So, Water Weaver, gone. Anchor Cannon, gone. There's no new WoW Pow. There's no WoW Pow at all, in fact. He's going to max out of the Soul Gym. The base attacks... The base upgrades, both paths, and the soul gym, all totally new. So if you're just watching this for some reason, because you're like, I'm gonna leave a negative comment because it's Gilgrunt again, give him a shot. I don't, I don't, I haven't read his stuff yet either, but it is all totally different, just like you see with Shark Shooter, Terrafin, Legendary Hurricane, Jetvac. It's all cool. It's good stuff, and for the most part, I think it's it's been perhaps. I don't want to say better till we take it, but it's pretty interesting. So uh, we'll go ahead. I'll recap his story here for you. Gilgrunt, I guess deep dive Gilgrunt, was a brave soul who joined the Gilman military in search of adventure. While journeying through a misty lagoon in the clouds, he met an enchanting mermaid. He vowed to return to her after his tour. Keeping his promise, he came back to the lagoon years later, only to learn a nasty band of pirates had kidnapped the mermaid. Heartbroken, Gilgrunt began searching all over Skylands. Though he had yet to find her, he joined the Skylanders to help protect others from such evil, while still keeping an ever-watchful eye for the beautiful mermaid and the pirates who took her. So, just like Diveclops, these pirates wreaking havoc on our water realm and Skylanders. So, that said, this is, this is where things get good for me, right? We're going to come in, we're going to go to upgrades. Again. If you're thinking, okay, he's going to shoot a harpoon and he's going to blast stuff with a water hose that runs out in two seconds, woohoo. No. 
Again, totally reimagined. You're like, wait, he's Whamshell. No. <laughs> Closer to Whamshell than what Gilgrunt was before with the Harpoon Gun, but not quite. So, uh, let's see what we got. We got the Trident Thrust. I've got to say, would Lightning Rod not look good with a Trident like that? I know he'd have the Lightning Bolt still, but that just seems like something he should have. And I'd, I'd always kind of hoped, again, a lot of people I converse with kind of wanted to see Lightning Rod in Superchargers, but, uh, yeah, they live and learn, you know. Trident, th I think I might have even done a, uh, your Superchargers on that. Anyway, uh, Trident Thrust, press X to attack enemies with your Trident. So it should be fairly straightforward, kind of swordish, chop chopish, if you will, you know, so I enjoy those types of things. After that, Power of the Seas, let's see what this is. Press B to attack enemies with a long-range lightning attack? Where did this come from? Hmm. I don't know. That should be interesting. I, I hope he can still use the jetpack, though. Uh, okay. Awesome. <laughs> All right. So, 5, 7, 9, 12 are the prices here. You know, box stock, no discount. But, uh, Typhoon Turbine Jetpack. Press Y to begin hovering with your jetpack. That's all I wanted, although I hope it doesn't run out really fast. Press X to dash forward. Dash, nice. Or press B to send out a tidal wave, also cool. Press Y again to land on the ground. Hmm. I wonder if the jetpack is just automatically infinite this time, or if you have to be above a water source. I enjoyed SSA using that, you know, like water, air, sky, you know, that's all... Or I guess air element, you know, can fly over the water, water can go through the water, but, you know, if you just had an Earth or Life Skylander, well, I guess Stump Smash could float. Anyway, if you had a Fire Element <laughs> Skylander and you needed to get across water to explore it, you couldn't. Uh, you needed, you know, like a Water Element Skylander to do that. And uh, I kind of missed that. Anyway, Trident True is up next. Hold X when not using a jetpack <clears throat> to rapidly attack in nearby enemies. Then we've got Wild Whirlwind. Hold B while using the jetpack to create a large whirlpool that damages nearby enemies. That should be pretty cool. And last base upgrade is Trident Unleashed. Trident attacks do more damage. Unleash the Trident. Alright, so that's what he's looking like through his base upgrades. We've now got the two paths, three upgrades, upgrades apiece. We're going to start out with the Torrent Tamer path. Learn how to ride on massive waves and damage enemies in your waves. So, don't know if this is going to be like kind of zappish or something maybe, but it looks pretty neat. That wave kind of looks like a fist too, to some degree. Anyway, we get started with Wave Jumper. Press Y to begin hovering with your jetpack, simple enough. Press Y again to land on the ground. Entering or exiting jetpack mode causes a water explosion that damages nearby enemies. Oh, I've got it. Okay, so that's like the propulsion effect, if you will. It starts, it stops type of a deal, so it's not like a... I was picturing him, like, you know, riding waves around, but it's actually just, you know, picture, you know, going up in the sky, and then you kill the power, stop propelling water out, and you just, you know, descend. So that'll be pretty neat, actually. Uh, right here, tubular tidal wave. Props for using tubular. Last time I saw that in a video game was Super Mario World. What's uh anyway, Star Road at that. Press B to shoot out three large waves in jetpack mode. I'm thinking I might like jetpack mode, although the tri we'll still have to take the base upgrades, I'd imagine, but this is seeming like a cool path. Uh, and then next up we've got drive the wave, hold X in jetpack mode to ride a huge tidal wave. This is what I was hoping for. Uh I don't know the duration on it. Yeah, I hope it's decent. This will be a really fun path, I'm afraid. Uh, which is a good thing. Coming down below, what is this one called? It's called the Storm Summoner. Ooh, that just sounds fun. Storm Summoner Path, channel the power of the storms of the sea and electrify your attack. So I guess this is kind of like, instead of the, you know, super soaker squirt gun, we've got like electrical attack somehow. So, lightning strikes, hold X while not using the jetpack to rapidly attack nearby enemies with lightning. That could be beneficial. Then we've got shocking transition. Press Y to begin hovering with your jetpack. Press Y again to land on the ground. Entering jetpack mode causes a lightning explosion that damages nearby enemies. So, shocking transition and light uh, wave jumper. Very, very similar. Coming in now, we've got lightning buildup. Lightning attacks do more damage. Storm powered. So, fairly simple straight across the board, I would think. Now, regardless of the path that you take, 
our soul gem is going to be Storm of the Seas. Uh, 4,000 is the price without a discount. Hold down B while not using the jetpack to summon a powerful lightning storm. So that should be good. Again, that kind of ties in better with the top path, in my opinion. Unless, of course, it's one of those ones where it would be superlative damage based upon the increases already present in Storm Summoner. Uh, if that is the case, then it would be you know advantageous to pilot with the already high damage numbers, make those even better. But at the same time, it's one of those deals where if you go with the top path, you know, and you're kind of focusing on the waves and everything, then this would come in and sort of augment not having the same primary stuff you would get on the bottom path. Just my thoughts on it all. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm having trouble keeping my eyes open. So he is not as quick as I thought he'd be, but I still think he would slaughter dive gloves. Oh, he's got a cool jump mechanism as is. I realize we forgot to check dive gloves and jump attacks again. My apologies there. Let's take a look at that. Oh, it kind of looks more like a, uh, you know, like flame-based propulsion as opposed to water, but you never know. You can do a lot of things with highly pressurized water, including cut through just about whatever you want to. So, uh, let's actually see if this does damage. It seems like it might. It probably won't, but it looks like something that could. Gonna try to get right up on this guy. Okay, so I don't think it's going to, but it, eventually it will. It just looked like right now it might have done something like two to three type of thing. Anyway, trident thrust, press attack one to attack enemies with your trident. It looks like he does get the combo. He's kind of got like a poke and a twirl. So let's just quick jab over here. 36. So the whole, even the combo is going to be, so we'll have 36 to 54, basically. I thought that, you know, like, the 1, 2, 3, where he slams it down, I thought that me might end with a higher number. But for what it's worth, we did have the 54 there, which was critical, but for what it's worth, it's kind of nice to have it all be the same in terms of documenting it. So that way I don't have to be like 36, 54, 2x, and then whatever greater, you know, finishing number. Alright, let me try to stay awake while we do this. I'm coming into the wrong spreadsheet over and over again. Alright, Trident Thrust. 36 to 54. And you can actually do it three times before he sort of times out and resets. So, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. You get the idea. Alright, so. Um, how, let's actually now. Okay, so it seems I thought he might do a like cool jump slam down attack. Floated really long that time. I think it's going to be bliss. Okay, so it will register, uh, which is nice, just at head level, which is also cool. But 36 to 54, so now power of the seas. Press attack 2 to attack enemies with a long range lightning attack. Keyword, what? Long range, right? So let's see. Uh, we'll see. So let's start in close and build up the suspense. Get our numbers. Oh, 25, that's okay, so it should be 38, since Vicarious Visions rounds up, so 25 to 38, and can we jump and do it? Oh yeah, so he kind of does the jetpack. You can't really fire multiple off like jetpack and Stormblade, but he can at least maneuver in the air for kind of a cool effect. Yeah, that's good range, I'll have to say. Very good range. Okay. Yeah, so that's basically as far out as I can get here, and it does register. So, very, very good range. This kind of is a game changer for Gilgrunt. Uh, and it seems to hone in better. Again, the issue in SSA with him, and I loved using him, especially in the, some of the, what was it, like 6 through 8 or so chapters. What you would run into is, like, you have the harpoon going, you know, which is very akin to this, but instead of like this making contact just with a relative close range to the target, the harpoons, man, if you weren't like pinpoint blank accurate with them, it would just do, you know, like go around the enemy type of thing. So if they like accidentally hone in on you, you know, and they angle towards you, you wind up missing them. And then that's why I like the spread out with the three harpoons was good, but then of course that had the same problem where you could shoot that 
and instead of piling up three hits in a row, you basically like see it fan through a sea of enemies, <laughs> you know? And it hit, it might hit some, but not the ones that are like right up on you. So, uh, now the question I have here is when we jump, if we're in water, can we stay in here? No. So that's not a real yet. So, there's lightning there, nothing happens in the water with lightning. Kind of would have been a cool deal, but no biggies just yet. Let's come up here, and then I'm going to edit these two videos while I shower or something. Not simultaneously, that's that's a little risky for the computer, I would think. But uh, I'm just, my eyes are getting very heavy. Alright, so we're only going to use the primary here. Let's just spam it, shall we? One, two, three. And I think he's dead. So now we will just use the secondary. And I'm firing them off in both instances as quick as I possibly can. And the good news is he's able at least to thwart off the ongoing Greebles. So now we'll kind of mix and match it. We'll do a trident to say hello. Now we're going to shock him. Trident up close. Now we're going to retreat. Come all the way over here. When he comes onto the screen, we'll shock. Shock again. Retreat. Shock, trident, melee kill. Alright, so, pretty impressive guy, right? I gotta say. Uh, so far, all of the returning characters have maintained, which, you know, about Gil Grunts, um, it does look like we will be able to hover, which that was his key deal. Terrafins, of course, with the swimming under the earth. Jet Vax was, you know, kind of having some sort of a suction van. So... So far, I haven't seen anything that's like really annoyed me, and everything that we've got to look forward to is really cool. So, uh, pretty excited about that. But again, this was Deep Dive Gilgrunt. I think we have documented everything we needed to. So, I'll end this. We will get these video videos editing so I can upload them and have them to release tonight and tomorrow. Hoping maybe if I shower, I can get like another wave of energy and uh, crank out another intro, perhaps. If not, it'll be some vehicle-related stuff. I actually have something special I wanted to do last night, and I was too tired to, so I'll try it tonight. But uh, We're getting close to have introduced all the characters we've got, so that's at least good. We're making progress there. That said, vehicles are coming. Again, I'm working on stuff on that end, and, of course, more gameplay as well. I just wanted to have a few more characters and vehicles ready uh, so we could approach and you know have multiple Skylanders available to us so we can kind of suit the... Uh, environment if you will to the character so that's it thanks so much for watching if you're enjoying the series leave a like leave a comment let me know your thoughts on deep dive gilgrunt are you still furious that gilgrunt's back do you think it's great are you the biggest gilgrunt fan in the world uh even though he is back and you might be sick of him do these new reimagined powers make you want to pick him up have you already picked him up would you buy deep dive gilgrunt if he wasn't in an expansion pack i think that was clever placement actually you know, if you put someone like uh, Roller Brawl, who it's her, you know, like, second appearance in the expansion pack, or if you put, you know, maybe like a more popular character that's not as played out as Gilgrunt, you know, kind of like a uh, Terrafin or a Jetvac, I feel like that would have been... Yeah, yeah, okay, great. But doing Gilgrunt, I think, will make people buy him because he's in the Sea Racing action pack. You want to get the extra content, you want to race as villains, you want to have the, all the extras that come with it in the expansion side, but at the same time, you're also kind of like, oh, that's sort of an easier way for me to justify getting Gilgrun again. You know what I'm saying? If he was like in a solo pack or combo pack or something, I feel like people would go in and be like, ooh, let's get the new guys, or, you know, hey, you know, I'll get Gilgrun, he's my favorite, but for people that fall into that camp of Gilgrunt again, couldn't we have had Whamshell or... You know, what about Zap? You know, I thought Zap, again, would have been a great supercharger. Also, Slam Bam. But uh, that's another story another day. So it is Gilgrunt, and he looks pretty cool. And like I said, from what I've heard from everybody on the Skylander Club forum and uh, YouTube, Twitter, people are pretty happy with the guy. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what he's made of in the game. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, leave a comment, and again, subscribe if you want to follow along with the Skylanders introductions. You can follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, Plus, whichever you prefer. Once again, thanks so much for watching and for myself in Deep Dive Gilgrunt. We will catch you back here for more Skylanders Supercharger. I nearly said Trap Team again, but uh, we'll catch you all later.